Hello, welcome back. Uh, today's topic is uh, transferring material master from uh, ECC to SRM. So, for this uh, transfer of uh, master data, uh, the configurations or the settings has to be done in both the systems in ECC as well as in SRM. Uh, so, I will take you uh, step by step uh, what things uh, to be done in ECC and uh, the steps which need to be configured in SRM and then how to start the initial load and then uh, scheduling the background jump for, for uh, delta changes. So now uh, let's start with uh, the settings in ECC. O open uh, ECC system and uh, open transaction SM30. So, so uh, go to uh, the transactional view or enter the table or view, no view name as CRM, CON, SUM. So here uh, we have to maintain uh, the following entries. The user is SRM and active should be ticked and then description you can maintain and then uh, profile should be R3A. And by default we will get an uh, CRM system. So now we are going to create an additional system with SRM. So the next table entry is uh, CRM. Uh, CRM uh, CRM sub tab SUB TAB. So here we have to maintain uh, the data entry for uh, up, uh, up initial load and download. So uh, we have to maintain the following entries for uh, material, service master, and then customizing entry. So against the CRM, we are maintaining the activity as download and the object class as uh, material. And the function module name is CRS material extract. So similarly, we have to maintain for SRM as well. So that uh, we come down. So that, that I have already maintained. So these are all the three entries to be maintained for SRM uh, system user, which we created in the previous state. One for material, one for service, and the other one for customizing. Make sure the function module CRS material extract, service extract, and CRS customizing extract. So these uh, three uh, table entry has to be maintained in, in the table. CRM con SUB. So CRS service extract. So this is the function module which will trigger the download. So the next uh, table is CRM con SUM. Con sum we have already maintained. This is for profile. Uh, we have to maintain the following uh, profiles against the RFC destination and the user is SRM uh, to initial load and for, uh, for and then for uh, delta load uh, one for material and another one for service so there should be four entries so material delta and initial service uh, master material and uh, initial and delta so the next uh, table name is uh, old tab CRM P A R O L T B. So this is for uh, OLTB parameters maintenance. So uh, this is again we have to maintain for two masters, one for material and service. So say that the first one is parameter name CRM filtering is active or not. So I am going to maintain for material and the user is SRM. The parameter active is x so this these are all the four uh, four main uh, uh, tables which need to be maintained in ecc side and then uh, <coughs> open the table uh, sc16 and tbe11 so if you th there uh, the application id is bc and mid so if you execute the application should be active so which we maintained in the previous step so we have to make sure the, in this table TB11 the active active indicator should be marked as X. So this is one another parameter should be maintained. So now uh, we will go back to uh, SRM system. So in SRM we will see what are all the steps we need to be maintained. And the first thing is open uh, BBP underscore product underscore settings transaction. So you uh, enter the username as SRM and then run with test mode. If you are running in actual, so uncheck this uh, test mode. So this will give you the list of uh, you know objects which is active and which is uh, deactive. 
So, this we you need to run it in uh, actual mode. Now, for demo, I am just running it in uh, test mode. So, execute for both uh, service and for service uh, material and for services. So, after executing that uh, product settings, uh, open uh, SNRO. This is to define the number ranges for the external material which is coming in from ECC. So, enter rrseq star so let's first take with rrseq underscore ac extract so go to and click on intervals uh, give maintain uh, the interval name the uh, interval uh, re, uh, range so similarly you follow for remaining uh, rrseq uh, uh, number range series i think we have uh, five four to five uh, uh, series of uh, number ranges to be maintained with all RRSEQ and after maintaining the number ranges uh, let's uh, check whether um, a product com open the transaction com cp or format this is to check the length of the uh, uh, material so check whether the length of the material is 18 which is to be mapped against our ECC um, length material otherwise the material master will not be replicated and then the open transaction SMOGEN so that is to generate the services for uh, BDOC services for material and services so here uh, select uh, radio button as BDOC types and then uh, in the available objects click uh, F4 and then you can select product underscore mat execute so this will generate all your uh, vdocs in uh, services related to uh, uh, downloads in srm so you do this uh, repeat this process again for services and do i have it so this will generate similarly for services as well so all the services has been successfully uh, executed and now open the transaction SMOEAC this is to maintain the site uh, for material transfer or the between ECC and SRM so I have already created a site uh, with uh, SRM and ECC I have created one with SRM so double click it and when you are uh, you can click on site attribute uh, so when you click on site it will show you the de description uh, what is RFC if the details are not displayed you can click on this get values yeah and then it will get you the details of the backend connection which is maintained against your uh, site information this is very important if the site is not maintained the load load initial load and delta load will not be performed so this, uh, this site has to be maintained for uh, material or service replication and this is for uh, ECC uh, which comes in by default we have to create another uh, site which I created similar to SRM so uh, these are all the major uh, uh, settings which need to be uh, maintained in ECC and SRM um, so follow these steps uh, one by one uh, this is uh, mandatory in both the systems so uh, next step is uh, loading so before loading we have to make sure both uh, inbound and outbound queues are uh, clear so i will open sm q1 and q2 and i will check whether uh, any uh, data is uh, running for material and services so uh, there is no queues which is in srm so similarly i am running checking sm q1 for uh, outbound sm q2 for inbound in ecc as well so now i am checking in uh, ecc this is ecc system outbound queue um, so we, we have to make sure that there, there should not be any uh, queues with respect to uh, master data yeah there are no queues uh, in error or running state mm, now I am in SRM system let's start uh, uh, initial load open the transaction R3AS so R3AS okay so open this transaction and uh, do F4 and select uh, let me start with um, cust basic so this will get you all your uh, uh, unit measure and other basic parameters from your ECC 
and you can repeat this for remaining things prod prod 0 prod 0 1 etc the same thing can be monitored in r3 am1 you can select any one of the object let's say uh, cast base 1 so this is already executed um, successfully which was a green if there are any errors so it will uh, show in error state so i will show you in uh, later how to monitor the um, uh, load if, if it is entered in uh, error so next i am going to show this is like filtering for your data load for that the transaction on r3 ac1 so you select the material and uh, you know we can maintain uh, the filtering based on your uh, parameters uh, available in against the field column yeah this is the field column so you can select any one of the input field against which it has to be uh, maintained so i am filtering based on the material and i have given one material code so whenever i load so only that particular uh, material will be replicated uh, so other things will not be replicated the same uh, the after the load we can check the uh, material master whether it is loaded successfully or not in transaction com pr01 comp pr01 so open that uh, transaction um, so this will take uh, quite slow when the first time is loaded so against uh, the field you ch change the find column with material and then start so it will show you all the list of uh, material master which is uh, transferred from ECC to SRM so when you double click it will show you the short description and then category hierarchy id etc yeah so this is going to show you them if you change uh, to material to service you will able to see all the list of services which has been transferred from ECC to SRM as well it is similar to material you can see the basic details short description hierarchy and category ids so now let's see how to uh, monitor uh, the uh, material transfer uh, yeah before that i'll show you where some of the reports which is available to do uh, the utility re reports so first i'm going to show you uh, the com hierarchy uh, delete and delete single and delete all these are the two tables two reports this uh, com hierarchy delete single will delete your hi hierarchy of single hierarchy uh, delete all will delete all your hierarchies which is transferred from ECC to SRM so be cautious before uh, using these two reports uh, if you delete the hierarchy then uh, replic product replication and creating the shopping cart also will be uh, affected so the next thing is uh, yeah this uh, just wanted to show you the delete all this is the reports two reports so next I will show you the report for deleting the material master and service master so it is nothing but in com underscore product delete all and delete single there are two reports so let's uh, open uh, delete all and if you do execute i'll show you how uh, the, what are the parameters available for single and delete okay do f8 um, so there will be a test mode available so you can choose the product id product type logical system etc and similarly if you do delete all all the products will be deleted so be cautious as i told um, so before using these two reports next is like uh, monitoring the material master uh, a log to find if there are any errors is there so open transaction sm uh, no smw01 smw01 is the transaction so in that uh, go to uh, bdocs and you can choose product underscore mat for materials product underscore scrv for services and then do f8 it will show you the um, uh, logs for your last uh, run uh, load of your master data so in my case all the master data is successful so i'm going to check if any errors are there there is no errors let me check with uh, rejected and uh, yeah there are no rejected item so everything is successful if there are any errors uh, we will be uh, getting a list of errors so we can double click and check the error code thank you thank you for watching this uh, series of videos if you like please subscribe to my channel